Well, howdy ho, good neighbor. It was just a matter of time before the robbers or thieves or whatever word you want to use, well, it was bound to happen. They got to hit the construction workers. So that's right, in Oakland, you're not even safe doing construction work. They're robbing the construction workers of their tools. So um, I've already got my tools ripped off twice out of the back of my truck, right in my own house. So I unload all my tools, but now they're gonna just take the tools right when I'm working. So I've already had a couple close calls in Oakland. So watch this next news story and tell me how bad is it getting in Oakland where you can't even go and make an honest living without somebody stealing your wage earning tools. That's right, how am I supposed to earn a wage when I can't even have tools? And you know they sell those tools at the flea market or you know online. I don't know where they sell this stuff. So, okay. Enough out of me. Watch this next news story and it'll show you. You're not safe in Oakland doing a job that, uh, yeah, it's bad enough doing a job that is hard work and then somebody comes and steals your tools. And tools aren't cheap. Nothing's cheap anymore and nothing's easy. And there's just more, nothing more frustrating than somebody stealing your stuff at gunpoint. That's right, they're not just stealing it out of a gang box or coming when you're at break. They're literally robbing you at gunpoint. And they, I said it's the wild, wild west. Well, somebody commented, it's not even the wild, wild west anymore because if I have a gun, well, I'm the bad guy. In the wild, wild west, you could shoot and ask questions later, but not here. Uh, you will get prosecuted. The good guys will get prosecuted. So, all right, enough out of me. Watch this news story. And I'm telling you, it's getting crazy where I can't even go to work without someone stealing my tools. All right, I've said that enough. All right, let's go. New in town, a small business owner in Oakland is concerned for his workers' safety after they were robbed at gunpoint twice in recent weeks. Each time it happened while crews we're working at a job site. KTVU's Amber Lee live tonight. And Amber, you spoke with one of the workers who was robbed. That's right. The worker and the owner tell me the robbery was traumatic and they feel helpless. The most recent incident took place yesterday morning and the crime was caught on camera. This is surveillance video of an armed robbery. Two thieves walk up to a plumbing crew working in Oakland's Laurel District Tuesday morning around 9.15. It's uh, hurtful, uh, traumatizing. Ignacio Becerra, owner of Oakland Rooter and Plumbing, says this is not the first time his workers have been robbed. Twice in a matter of three weeks, but this year we've had three vans stolen, equipment, thousands of dollars in equipment taken from us. This time, one thief grabs plumbing equipment and runs to the getaway car. And shortly after, a thief opens one of the work vans and steals tools. That one happened pretty, pretty fast. It was pretty quick. Jose, one of the three workers on site, asked us not to show his face. He says two thieves walked up to him in the driveway and the one armed with a gun approached him. He said, like, don't say nothing and don't do nothing or I will kill you right now. I just got scared. Jose says the thieves wore face masks, black hoodies, and black jeans, and that the thief armed with a gun spoke English with a Central American accent, and he wore black and red Nike tennis shoes. Last night when I got home, I can still see his face, and I, will, uh, I mean, it's just like, yeah. You think you can identify him even with the mask on? Oh, yeah, of course. The robbery took place in the driveway of Gilbert Chin's home. The plumbing technicians were there to repair a sewage line. Chin was inside his home at the time of the robbery, but his surveillance camera captured what happened. I've here, been here for 31 years, and I'm very, very comfortable here. I mean, we got to do something about the crime. This is the real, uh, has the camera and the lens. Becerra shows me the expensive sewer camera system that was stolen. He says this equipment alone cost $20,000. He estimates that the loss from the armed robberies and the stolen vans adds up to $100,000. Someone's going to get hurt. Someone's going to get killed. Either us as field techs or them as, as the thieves. 
To prevent thefts, the owner has removed logos from his vehicles and added extra locks, but that none of these measures could have prevented the armed robberies. He's asking city leaders to do more to protect small businesses. Mike? Amber Lee, live tonight in Oakland. Amber, brazen daylight robbery, though, in Oakland, which has a lot of neighbors questioning if there's even a point to calling the police at this point. Well, the saying goes, if it's not bolted down, it'll likely be taken. But the fence being stolen in this video was bolted down. That didn't stop the thieves, though. A lot of people mad about this, and if that wasn't bad enough, witnesses are questioning the response from Oakland PD. And as KPIX 5's Dal Lin reports, neighbors are sick of it. A thief hammering a bolt to remove a fence panel. Witnesses saw three men stealing the panels and a woman serving as a lookout. It happened Tuesday afternoon just under the 880 freeway in Oakland, not far from Fruitvale Boulevard. Me and my son are, are talking. We start hearing loud clanks. The theft happened in front of Bay Restorators. Business owner Everardo Rodriguez Sr. immediately called the police as his son started recording. His surveillance camera shows 20 minutes later, an officer responded, stopped, and drove off a minute later. The lookout is standing right here. Oakland police tell me that officer did not see any thieves. Once the officer left, the thieves went right back to removing the panels. Everado had no idea a cop even showed up. No one called, so he kept waiting for the police. An hour later, they snapped these photos of the thieves loading the panels into a truck. It's really sad. It's getting to that level where they're stealing even things that are supposed to be welded on. It's the old wild, wild west. It's a free for all. And it should not be that way. Everado says the bad guys have no fear for anyone, not even the police, because it feels like there are no consequences. One, two, three, four. Five thieves stole at least 10 panels, including panels from two large gates. Caltrans put in the wrought iron fence last year to keep the homeless out after multiple encampment fires. They say each eight-foot panel costs $400. Caltrans says it's not a new problem, and it's happening repeatedly in Alameda County. Caltrans says instead of bolting the panels, they're now welding the panels to slow down the thieves. We're frustrated. As a small business owner, I struggle every day to make ends meet. Everado says thieves have also targeted his business. They do emergency cleanups at people's homes. I used to respond 24-7 for water damages and fire damages. I can't do that no more. It's so dangerous. I've had employees quit. They will not come here late at night because we've had incidents. He and neighbors want the police and elected leaders to do better and restore a sense of safety. Hopeless. I feel a hopeless. Normally, I would tell you if you recognize those thieves to call Oakland police. But in this case, it's unclear if they're even investigating the theft because it's considered a low priority crime. And that's partly why people are so frustrated. In Oakland, I'm Don Lane, KPIX 5.